again everybody, Sue here. Today we're going to talk about clothing for ranch riding. Um, again, keep in mind what ranch riding is all about. It's about going across the paddocks, getting cattle, or even just going for a ride on your broke nice horse that we're going to talk to you later on about training. For competition for ranch riding, let's start from the top. Hat needs to be well shaped, well fitted. Don't get something that's hanging down over your ears. Make sure it's fitted at the front and the back, shaped well. So there's a few people around that will shape your hats for you. Make sure if you've got a felt hat, it's clean, or same with a straw, uh, and that your, your hat, it, it just shows professionalism, even if you're just a beginner. Straight away, the judge will get that look and you'll be on his radar straight up. Shirts should be reasonably fitted. Don't get too blousy. If your shirt's too big and you're cantering, the wind gets in them sometimes and it makes you look 10 times bigger than you are. We don't want that, girls. So, uh, your neck scarf, necktie, uh, is optional, not mandatory, but it always adds to the ranch look. Uh, earrings can be uh, just small earrings. You don't want big flappy earrings. Again, they're a bit distracting when you're cantering. So maybe just a nice little earring. I've got matching earrings with a scarf here. So you can do all sorts of your own creations there. Uh, your shirt, like I said, long sleeve shirt is mandatory. Your hair also needs to be tied back. If you've got long hair, I've only got short hair, make sure it's behind your ears and not sticking out everywhere here. And make sure it's fairly neat, okay? Um, obviously, with your hair, you can't, your short hair, you don't want to put in a hairnet or anything, but just make sure it's behind your ears and tidy. Uh, shirt fitted, belt, if you're wearing a buckle, make sure it's centered, make sure you, that your things are in your keepers, down to your jeans, okay? Your jeans, again, girls, if you're over 25 probably, and or if you've got a little bit of extra weight, don't get the low rise jeans because the little muffin top's gonna pop over. So get your, I, I like a high rise jean because it, you know, being an older lady and a bit more mature in stature, um, it, it is better than something low, like the young girls can get away with because they've got lovely, beautiful figures. But get something that sits up here, holds all this in, and most definitely talk about the length of your jeans. Always buy, for you're showing, always buy a pair of jeans that are longer than you would wear. So they'll drag on the ground a little bit. I take a 36 inch leg because when you're riding, your jeans will come up. And the worst thing you, you what you don't want to see is that. That looks, screams beginner. So long, long, um, long jeans and make sure that they've got plenty of length so that when you bend your knee, you've got that good look. Your boots, make sure they're clean and comfortable. I also, a little tip, I buy boots that are maybe half a size bigger because if you get hung up in your stirrup, your foot will come out of your boot. Just saying. Okay, thanks for watching.